In terms of funding, of, uh, we've rece also received uh, assistance through funds. Um, you all know that government has set up an account which uh, for any one individual, uh, group or community who's got, uh, who wanted to provide uh, financial support, they can uh, directly deposit with that account. Um, some of the business community have actually appeared at the, uh, at the center to officially launch, which is we encourage it for good visibility, for good visibility in the communities and also the country. So that is another opportunity that we've been uh, working uh, to, show, to, uh, to look at how we can uh, um, stock take and ensure there is good uh, management of a lot of. of uh, financial and uh, all the assistance received to the New York. We are quite, uh, it's, it's astonishing and we, it's, it's, it's heartwarming to support the communities in government. And uh, again, we, we also work closely with the development partners, but much of the assistance we receive from them are through uh, personnel, through technical services. So this, as I said, is coordinated through the Ministry of Health to make sure the right uh, technical support is provided to the appropriate locations. Issues, we have issues, some issues of coordination which is normal with this kind of, uh, of operation. There's a sense of panic at some point of, uh, because I mean we all feel it. We all feel what is happening and we have to give it our best. Often the best is we tried and it's always an issue of panic and then coordination is always the issue that comes up. But uh, we are trying to work closely as much as possible on the coordination to avoid, to avoid any complications on the in unnecessary uh, duplication of processes while ensuring the maximum time of delivering the resources to the community and the people. Yeah. So thank you, we are in the uh, 15th, now we're into the, today is the 28th, well, this is nearly 10, 10 days since, uh, just over 10 days since we were, we had the, uh, we launched the, uh, the epidemic declaration, and uh, we're continuing the service for 24 hours. Do people yeah. overseas, some organizations, individual people are now using the uh, outbreak of peace or the epidemic mm. to fundraise? and to look for assistance in order to help out. What's, what's your committee saying about it? Well, I guess they can, uh, I mean, we're not discouraging the whole process, I think, but uh, I think the, the issue we have is the how the government is engaged in the involvement of the government uh, as the basis for fundraising. We have to, that has to be very clear. And uh, government is not promoting that if it's not handled well. So in case in the event that they want to actually, I think we've got the process in place, they have to reach out to our office and then we'll have to engage it with the Attorney General. And uh, because as I said, the past experience, uh, we, we, when we did the audit report on behalf of government and was circulated, there were queries. What happened to this money? What happened? But it didn't actually reach government. See, this is, the, the government is worried about that, uh, being accountable and transparency to all this. Uh, so it's important in that sense. We have to, I think that, that, that experience is helping us to guide how we can best receive, utilize, and mobilize the good heart of the people and their help. Mm. Can you please elaborate on what um, specific assistance is our people really in great need of? You know, in terms of so many people would like to help, but you know, what exactly do you know, people have to donate? Um, much of the much of the assistance is uh, well, as you aware, this is a mass vaccination program, vaccination program. So much of it is on technical, uh, I mean, uh, medical equipments, and this has been handled clearly with the uh, Ministry of Health and the Development Partners. Of course, uh, we get updated on what's been provided, but for for most people, I think the the what we've been guided by the Ministry of Health along the areas of trying to isolate, isolate patients to avoid greater, you know, of the disease. So this is where a lot of the assistance is going towards. For example, in the case of Savai, there have been, uh, the Ministry of Health have, uh, have looked at uh, uh, directing all of the patients to Waipauli. And we all know Waipauli was, it's, it's uh, so this is where the, all the assistance is going. 
to upgrade Waipoli, to clean the place, get the, the, the mattresses, the beds in before. So this is the priority for, for as far as the Ministry of Health is concerned. And we are guided with it. Are we, are we desperate for any you know, medical assistance from overseas right now? Um, if I can say it, we've, uh, we've received very positive uh, support from the uh, government partners. The One UN uh, has been uh, very encouraging their support. Uh, they've got two other projects, ongoing projects, that's working well with the, the epidemic. Uh, this is, this is uh, uh, one is to looking at uh, building the awareness and strengthening the visibility of uh, the implications of the of it. So this is an important part for for uh, teaching our people. And uh, so this is a project, an ongoing project, which is timely. And now they're going to strengthen that to, to push that information back. Um, they've received uh, good treatment from the uh, well, doctors and nurses, uh, vaccinators. This has all been... Uh, so I cannot uh, say that we don't need more. But the any assistance we can, I think, through the Ministry of Health, I think we are all in time of need. And these are very specialized uh, uh, requirements that we need to, to, to allow for it, as much as possible. But it's been very, as I said, New Zealand, Australia, I have uh, provided assistance, the UN, uh, one UN with WHO, UNICEF. There's also uh, some technicians uh, provided to the government of France, through uh, the French Polynesia. So it, it's coming together. And I think uh, there's an indication of, uh, of government going further to look at a bigger program to provide for the, for the whole uh, campaign, to make sure the post part of the epidemic is also prepared for after and uh, before and after. Going back to the donations uh, issue, um, mm -hmm. the, it's always good to, uh, when you, you know, when the people sending money. Is there a process by which the, uh, the donations is, is acknowledged? You know, instead of you just sending money blindly, mm -hmm. how does the person know that the money has been received in Samoa? Well, we've, uh, we've, we've, uh, we've received both, uh, I mean, uh, we've, we've, we've been acknowledged uh, through email as well. There's uh, quite a few who have sent personal emails and uh, just to say that they've done this and uh, acknowledge, uh, we acknowledge at that, at, that, at that time. Again, as I said, some business have actually uh, uh, come to the, to the office and, and we take uh, and, and officially launch the assistance as again, uh, uh, we promoted that. We promote this kind of that kind of setup. If they want to take good photos, to, to, to launch it properly, because I mean, it's it's it's. Uh, we need to build a visibility. That's our part, because I think uh, you'll find that uh, the assistance we receive this is how we've been shared with them. The assistance we receive it goes beyond the epidemic, because we're looking at building good coordination, good partnership, encouragement. This is the message that comes out. When we when we, we launch it well, and then they're quite uh, supportive of it, of the process. Mm. At the end of the, or hopefully this um, emergency, well, is there an intention that the government would print out or list of all the support that um, you know exactly. has donated? At the yeah, end? I think this is the this is the the, the whole uh, uh, concept and promote by government. We're looking at um, that's why we have the audit people in. The, in, in the setup to make sure everything is audited, uh, the, all the assistance is provided, and, uh, and I'm sure at the end the government will <coughs> officially recognize everyone who's, uh, who's helped and, uh, uh, and, and assisted in the process. Again, this, uh, as I said, it's going to be it's going to be a, it's gonna be a, a pick, pick, pick program, you know, we, we, because we're looking at the the current, and also we're also looking at the post after the epidemic, because then we look at it's a process of itself, but uh, I think we are we are looking towards it and try to build the uh, in confidence in the, in the systems that we have. Make sure our, all uh, all those in, engaged will be will be comfortable with it and be confident to with without being implemented. Mm. Um, from what you've shared with us so far. Um, it seems that a lot of the donations that have been made have been made in kind mm. in the form of um, medical supplies and things and that sort of thing. 
Are you able to give us an indication as to how much has been received in cash donations, of any, and how it's been distributed so far? Um, no, I cannot, uh, the actual total of, uh, but uh, the process we have is, uh, if this the event of uh, in kind, we've got the Ministry of Finance, which, uh, which, uh, which no take note of it. But then uh, we can uh, look at the possible reconciliation at some stage. Of the, but at this stage, I, I don't have the, the actual amount. But all I can say is there's been uh, 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 good support and a uh, uh, pouring of, of, of good spirit. Is it just PSP that you've got? PSP, they've got an account with PSP. Only the PSP at this point, at this point of the date, yeah, at this stage. Mm. And I believe PSP has mm -hmm. also been, I'm sure they can, uh, they can get it uh, through any other bank uh, towards USP, uh, PSP. But one of the other information I think you need to share is the actual uh, what comes out in terms of information. I think you'll find that with the, the New York, we've got government, the press, government press is based there. So all information that comes to them goes through the Ministry of Health. Ministry of Health, they collect the initial data, they confirmed it, comes to us in New York, and we pass it on to the press, uh, uh, government press. So this is the, we take it that this is important. That that is the only information we'll encourage you to use, just to make sure we, because you know it's, it's often we get various information coming north, south, and but we tell us that this is the main source of information from uh, from MOF, MOH and the New York is the government press because they're based there all the time, and it's the, pro the policy we have to make sure the data is clean before it goes out from them. So I urge you. To, to work closely with the uh, government press to make sure the your reporting and but we also there to help as much as possible if there's any particular area that you wanted us to respond. Thank you. Hello, Hello. 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 Thank you. Um, I cannot confirm on the actual numbers, but we receive uh, Australia and New Zealand. We receive big uh, teams of New Zealand and Australia, and again they've been mobilising. I mean, some come for one week, they depart, and another another lot comes in also like that. So, but it's I can I can confirm that's been uh, been good response, but I cannot confirm on the total. But we can say that's been very positive uh, again uh, from New Zealand, Australia, and. Uh, in our neighboring uh, drug parts, yeah. Do we need more volunteers? Well, as I said, we, 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 the more we, we, we do, the better. I mean, there's always something to do, you know. Mm -hmm. But again, I think, as I said, the, the response from the communities and everyone who's uh, letting help, and it's, it's quite overwhelming, you know. And it, it's quite uh, heartfelt. Thank you. Yeah. Yes, I think we, well, we, we, we didn't expect a, uh, 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 a novel, and this is why we, we have to say that we engage the police and also other stakeholders for us, especially in when we have the uh, orders. We always get the police to enforce it, uh, to enforce the, some of the degree that came out for, for during the, the time of the epidemic. So they are a place of good, important part, not only for for ensuring the orders I implement, but also the safety of people, the normal safety.